We are at the Microelectronics Forum 2025, standing at the Zelenograd Nanotechnology Center booth. Glad to be here. Hello. Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting me, Maria. Could you share an insight into the current activities and developments of the center? What key areas do you focus on? Well, first of all, I want to note that the center turned 15 years old this year. A very young company, but rapidly growing. No, I don't have a deadline. Yes, the deadline obliges us to take certain positions in the microelectronics market, and we have achieved this. Several areas that we set ourselves the task of the last, I would mention integral photonics. which we are now actively engaged in and also brought the first products to the market and electronic engineering as part of the general state program. We are also taking part. These are the two areas I would particularly mention. Tell us what you came to the exhibition with. What do you draw the attention of colleagues, partners and visitors? Well, the exhibition is traditional annual. We are taking part in it. It's probably still Solushti already. About 10 years. We try to bring something new every time, but today, for example, a very significant event occurred, the signing of a firm contract for the purchase of a stopper. This stepper was developed by us together with Plane Beloruskaya company, and we are very proud of this because, after all, my opinion is that the exhibition and forum is not only an exchange of opinions, intentions and plans, but also the signing of real contracts obliging the delivery of certain products. Today we signed such a contract with the company Industry Solutions Group Element and this is a very important event for us. I congratulate you on this. Could you tell me if there are other projects or products that you take pride in, especially something this year that may stand out compared to past years? Indeed, this year we focused on specific areas. The so-called civil electronic products are products for automotive electronics. It's no secret that the market is completely closed. Earlier, Western companies dominated with their samples and products, but now Chinese and Russian firms have taken the lead in sensor manufacturing. Competing in the cheap landscape remains very challenging as reliability is a key focus. As a special application, but also very cheap, and the fight is going on on this, uh, as they say, front. So we tried to release, develop and prepare for release a whole series of products. The voltage regulator is the power steering control sensors. Now all these products are being tested by our customer partners, in particular the Kaluga company, Auto Electronics. We really hope to bring the serial production of these products to the market next year, here. This is the area I wanted to highlight. You mentioned earlier that the forum facilitated contract signing and acted as a valuable platform. Could you elaborate on other needs it covers? Well, it seems to me that it closes the need for communication that has been lately. Since COVID, it has gone online like this. He said that information when both operations and communication with partners take place in online contact, in my opinion, Face-to-face -face communication, personal contacts in business, as you know, mean a lot. And this forum just opens this page. And families come here, they come here. Groups of companies find communication formally and informally, and all this is a plus. In business, this side of the forum, I would like to note besides business. Is there a nanotechnology center in Zelenograd? Who are your competitors and what sets you apart from them? Absolutely, this is a crucial advantage for us. While competitors exist, I believe our strengths remain unmatched. As you know, it wouldn't be a good product. We, uh, on the one hand, are, of course, partners, for example. The entire Moscow Photonics Center is currently under construction in Moscow, and we very much hope that it will be our competitor in this area, on the one hand, and our partner on the other. And we try to build it this way, relationships where we help each other, where we compete. This is healthy competition, allows us to produce a very good product. Well, the advantages? The advantages are that we have our technological line, it is operational, working, and we are just supplementing it today. Some of our competitors' projects are in the early stages. We have a certain handicap during which we will have this advantage. It will pass quickly if we do not release new products. Of course, we will be outsiders, but we try not to let that happen. 
I think that's definitely not going to happen. Please tell me what are your plans for this year. Maybe you can share next time. We plan to launch a new chip assembly facility this year. Detailed information about it is available at the stand here. This event, in our opinion, is such a new qualitative transition of the industry as a whole to new chip assembly technologies and we are preparing for this event and hope that it will become a key event of the year, including for our partners and us. Well, I wish you good luck and prosperity. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you, Maria. Thank <laughs> you.